Marlene and I have just gone to our first uh, estate sale of the year, and I have done what I love to do, which is fill up a couple of bags. And, and Marlene got herself an all-American canner over there, which is like the Cadillac of canners for, uh, for pressure canning. So I wanna use what I bought today to show you how I keep track of my cost of goods, very simply, because I'm mostly going to estate sales and I'm buying a ton of stuff. And I have, a, I have an approach that I use, it's worked great for me, and in addition to that, I'll tell you about um, the mileage, how I keep track of mileage. All right, so this is what I do when I get bags full or when I buy anything at an estate sale. Anything I buy, after I get back, I spread it out. And here I've taken everything out of the bags. There was a lot of stuff in those bags that um, I threw away or I set aside to throw away because it, upon closer examination, it wasn't that great. And uh, there's a couple things in there that I decided to keep for myself. But here you can see I've laid everything out. It gives me a chance to look it over and, and uh, look things up. And uh, I, I'm gonna take a picture of it, but before I do that, maybe I'll just show you some of the things here. Uh, I've got, these are uh, letter and number tap set, or not tap set, stamp set. The ball peen hammers right there, I'll take the, uh, handles off, sell the heads. I've got, uh, this is neat, this is a um, offset, a flush cutting, brass backed, Sheffield, England back saw. And uh, it's in very good shape. You got a spoke shave, I got keys here. Always buy keys, see them in, in workshops. It's got, got a ring on there that's kind of neat. I'll lot those together. Here's a tool, I have no idea what it is. I think a machinist made that. I don't know if anyone will buy it, but we'll list it and get something for it, maybe. Right here, this is a, a screwdriver for a Stanley combination plane. And I find these fairly often. I've sold two or three, and I have another one to sell, and I, now I have this one to sell. And that'll bring $20 easy, sometimes more. Uh, right here, I've got, uh, this is neat, this is a uh, Yankee ratcheting screwdriver. I think those are like $10 they go for. Here's two vice grips, the vintage ones, in pretty good shape. These are made in USA by the Peterson Company. No longer made in USA. These are the, these are the good ones. And so I'll put those together, sell those as a pair. Here's a nice four inch draw shave. I think that's a $30, $35 tool. I won't clean it up. I'll just list it like that. This is a very nice Stanley screwdriver brace bit. And I've got a couple others here and I have others in, that I've gotten from previous sales. I'll lump them together. They have resale, people collect those. And speaking of uh, brace bits, here is a brace bit extension, an 18 inch extension. I think this is a $30 tool. Pretty neat. And got a saw set, an Atkins saw set. I thought this might have more value than it does. It, it might, this is like a $10 saw set. Some saw sets can go for a whole lot more than that. This is a good find right here. These are uh, tap extractors, vintage tap extractor set. That should go for $50 to $60, $70. That would be good here. Right here, I got a uh, Planet Junior uh, 1095, 1096 plow attachment. It's probably 50 bucks. A Stanley uh, center finer gauge, probably 20 bucks. Here's a nice old uh, Stanley uh, 299, very light aluminum. That's uh, That might be a $15 item. Little four inch Proto. No, uh, Vac Vaco, I mean. Proto, Vaco, there is a difference. Chicago, USA, that's a nice collectible. Vaco, Vacos, I collect Vaco nut drivers. Got a pretty good set of them. Here we got some old uh, Utica, USA, 
adjustable wrenches. I'll sell this pair here. This should be 20 bucks or more. And uh, I haven't looked this up, but uh, this is a Craftsman, a vice, or not a vice grip, that's a brand name, but a Craftsman made in USA. Uh, a lot of Craftsman collectors out there. I got a pretty neat Craftsman uh, tool to show you. Might be the best thing I got today, but Eric Magna Holder for indicators. I haven't looked that up. New old stock, these things. Figured, man, I'll just throw those in the bag. I'll sell them as a lot. Okay, you got various wrenches. Those, those are nice. Very nice. Let's see, I wanted to show you the, um, the great find. I think this is a great find. This is a sliding T-bevel. It's, uh, you know, sliding T-bevels are a common tools, but I don't think this is a common one. Notice the brass thumb lock is curved. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but what's really neat about this, I'll open it up here, probably won't be able to focus on it. No, well, maybe, I, maybe I can. Do you see where it says Craftsman? That is, uh, well, maybe that maybe you can see that. That's the old style Craftsman. That's from way back. And I'm going to put this on a, uh, it's an excellent condition, excellent vintage or antique, pretty close to antique, if not antique condition. And uh, I'm gonna put that on a Craftsman Facebook page and see what kind of collector interest there is. Dividers, I like dividers. I've sold several pairs of dividers. Okay, uh, enough of that, stair gauges. They, they, they don't have a lot of value, but I'll, a lot of this stuff I'll lot together, okay? And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take a picture of it. After I've taken that picture, I print out a full page copy on my laser printer. It's just, a, it's just in black and white, but it's good enough. I've never had a color printer, by the way. Laser printers are all I've ever used. So I've got the full page right here, and then I have this little information tag. We'll get it up here close. Maybe you can see the information that's on there. The date, have you got that? Yeah, you could see that. It's got the date, the sale location, the cost of goods, and mileage. I'll talk about mileage in a minute. So every sale I go to, for when I'm buying on eBay, I'm taking a picture afterwards. And last year, I went to 46 sales. So I have 46 pieces of paper, like you see right here, and every piece of paper has a picture of all the junk I bought, good junk, at these sales. And every page here has a little tag. Now here, I made, uh, I used a, a post-it. That was before I got so sophisticated and made little tags. You see this one here? This is where I bought a bunch of rope. So, so there you go. My cost of goods for every sale, I have a record of it with a picture, and then I have the data on the little tag. And so all I've got to do is add it up for tax time, which I do right here. I don't have spreadsheets or anything, I'm old school. And I, uh, and I bring it right down here and I spent $2,687.16 last year for all these sales, for my cost of goods. All right, that's simple, right? Okay, so that's the way I do it for keeping track of my cost of goods for my eBay business for figuring my taxes. I'm not saying that's the best way to do it. I'm not saying it's IRS or CPA tax accountant approved. I'm just saying that's the way I do it. And it's it works for me. I'm comfortable with this approach. Now let's talk about mileage because keeping track of your mileage is a big deal. Now I know there are apps that you can get for keeping track of your mileage but I do it by just sending myself an email. It's really easy. When I'm in the driveway, at home, 
before we go to the sale, I just go into my email, send myself a message. On my phone, all I got to do is hit H, the first letter of my name, and it brings up right at the top. So I'm sending it to myself. And then in the subject, I'll hit that, and then I'll hit the audio. So I'm talking to my phone. Car to Cortland Estate Sale, 77560. Send. I didn't even put anything in the message. Wasn't necessary. I just put it in the title. So there's the information. And I just received it. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> That's funny. So, uh, and then when we get home, this is usually the hard part. I got to remember, as soon as we pull in the driveway, I'll send myself another email. I don't write it down because I used to write it down and I would lose the paper. It's like, where did I write that down? I've got it. It's on the email. And uh, it's that simple. So then that information goes right on this little information tag, mileage. I uh, clarify if it's the truck or the car. My accountant wants to know how many business miles were on my truck, how many business miles were on the car. So I break it down like that. It's that simple. It's that simple. You just got to do it. Uh, that's it. I hope this has been helpful to you because I know that when I started selling on eBay, keeping track of my cost of goods and my mileage was kind of a hassle and it isn't anymore. It's really simple because I have a system. It's what you need. Whether it's this system or another system, you just need a system. You don't want to be haphazard. You don't want to be stressing about it. And you don't want to put it off. You want to stay right on top of it uh, every, every time, every sale. Okay, that's it. Trading dimes for dollars. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? And uh, it's, and it's it, it funner when you've got systems. <laughs> okay, bye-bye, everybody.